And here we are in game number three between Bly and Revolver. The deciding match. The winner will qualify. The loser will not. Still take home a little bit of money. Spawning in the bottom right hand corner of the map Nimbus. We find a red Zerg player from Team Acer. He is the one and only Bly. And he is facing off against his purple opponent. Playing for Good Game Russia. It is Revolver. Now, is Bly going to go for it once again? No, he's deciding that Overlord. He really likes to get that Extractor Trick going. He has gotten an extra drone out a little bit faster. But with the Extractor Trick, he's, not, he's also going to get that drone a little bit faster. But it's going to be a little bit of lost mining time. And it's going to cost you a few minerals to cancel it. So in the end, it does not matter a whole lot. Just a nice dump for your APM. These players are going to scout each other immediately. They, their overlords will uh, spot each other, fly next to each other for a little bit. And the top half of this map is not going to be used for quite some time in a setup like this. With these players spawning, uh, scouting each other so incredibly early. Now Revolver will once again go for the hatchery first. Would not be surprised to see Bly for going for the exact same thing. Because on this map it is pretty easy to do. You have a very small choke towards your natural base. And getting two queens in that little choke will make sure that your bases are safe in the early game so another very mirrored opening the aggression for from Bly did not work out just as well as he had hoped for in game number two but he is gonna go for a very quick gas once again gas before the spawning pool once again not the best build against the 10 pool but revolver has been playing it straight up in every game but this time Revolver has also opted to go for his own Gas Geyser. And will this Overlord actually get the scout? It will see that there is a Gas Geyser. We'll see that the spawning pool is only halfway the way done. So we, both players will know that the timing is exactly the same. Uh, just the Gas for Revolver a little bit later. It's still going to give... Uh, it's about a 20 seconds difference with Zirkling Speed if they started immediately. But Revolver has already shown that he does not go for circling speed immediately always uh, he might just go straight into roach once again so let's see how this game will unfold revolver already getting a pretty nice supply lead now he just started the queens earlier i was already wondering was uh were those drones uh, were those larvae not being used for blind did he want to bank them up go for a lot of zerglings but no that was not the case just the queens for revolver were already started while they were not for Bly. So we will see the supply is going to be staying equal for quite some time. Zergling speed already on the way for Bly. Also just started for Revolver. And it is going to be a, well, yeah, really just a 20, 22 second lead that Bly is going to have with that. So 20 seconds, not really the timing that you need to get a good timing going. But if you catch your opponent off guard, definitely there is potential for that. Now... Revolver is continuing to mine that gas just the way that Bly is, both going for that uh, for that baning nest right now, just to be safe against any Zergling aggression that might be coming your way. So no advantage for any of these players. We do see a lot of Zerglings on the on the production tab now for Bly, or at least he already has a few pulled up. Wants to hit a little time, but does not want to commit too much. So he's going to send them across the map. He could actually go all the way around that Overlord, but he does not know about the placement of the Overlords. So why bother with it? Spyclaw does get placed by Revolver. Bly is sending those units forward, but there are plenty of Zerglings here for Revolver. He has 10 more on the way. A lot of Bane is going to come through. Well, this is exactly the timing. Bly will be able to pick off one or two drones right there, but not going to be able to do too much. Especially with the Banelings of Revolver morphing in at this point already. Bly already starting his lair though. He has to avoid those Banelings of Revolver though. He has to return back home. Baneling for a Zergling. Definitely a trade that you do want to take. But these two, lot, these two remaining Zerglings for Bly just have to return back home. They're not going to do anything. We do see that Bly has a slight advantage. But he has to worry about these Zerglings. Oh, that was a very nice... Very nice reflex from Revolver. Turning them into Banelings. They will get armor, so no bonus damage will be done. And those 
Zerglings will remain alive. And now Revolver is bearing down on this base with a lot of Zerglings and a lot of Bailings of his own. The Bailings of Revolver of Bly are not done just yet. That's a lot of Bailings. The split on the drones, however, is going to be pretty good. But there's still one Bailing alive. Oh, he's going to get the money detonation right there. Still, a lot of those drones do remain alive. But Revolver has taken a very nice advantage already. The lair greed is not always a good thing. The lair is, however, going to be done for Bly. 12 drones on the way for Bly. But there are 36 Zerglings on the way for Revolver. And they are rallied straight towards the base of, of Bly now. These Bailings need to get money detonations. He needs to wall off this area as quickly as possible. Because he spots that the Zerglings are going to come his way. He's not going to be very happy about that at all. But with the two Queens, he will at least be able to get the wall off going. The Spine Crawler is in range. So it will get the extra damage done too. And now, Revolver will have to wait a little bit before his own Bailings are now going to be done. Both Queens are still alive. But how long will that last? Transfuse is going to go down. Perfect timing right there for Bly. But that's a lot of Bailings going to come through. But the hold so far has been amazing for Bly. More and more Zerglings and Bailings on the way for both of these players. And Revolver without the support of the Zerglings, he cannot move through. So he has to wait even longer. He is going to go for the full detonation on the Queens. One of the Queens is still alive at this point. And actually the Bailings of Bly got great detonation. If the Queen remains alive, it's going to be pretty epic for him. But still, more and more Bane is going to come through. Bly, once again, has opted to go for the Spire. He's putting it down. He's even producing another Spine Crawler. But will he be able to buy enough time? Revolver is not going to be able to tech up to Roaches anytime soon. The Zerglings will get picked off. The drones even pulled off to fight a little bit now, too. There is already quite a bit of minerals and quite a bit of gas in the production tab for Bly. But the Spire is not done just yet. And the revolver is going to go all in off of these Zerglings. And now there is no wall up at the front anymore. The spine crawler has been taken out. There's another spine crawler in position. Oh, those bailing detonations can be amazing. Nice hold position. Keeps them alive though. And the supply is still pretty much dead even. Bly has a lot of advantage in the workers. He has a lot more workers in position. But his army is lacking. The Zerglings do make it towards the natural base on the high ground. Spire is now finishing up. He needs time. But will he be able to get it? The Zerglings are in both mineral bases. The Bailing Detonation for Bly in the main base are pretty good. Also the Zerglings at the natural base have been cleaned up. But now the Bailing, uh, the, the Muna switch should come down. The Spire is still alive of course. And it looks like Bly has held on. He's still up 6 workers over his opponent. And now 7 Mutalisk are on the production tab. And they will come out fairly soon. The drones can go back to come back to mining. Because this is of course a lot of lost mining time. More Bailings and more Zerglings going to stream through. Bly wants to dump all of his gas into those Mutalisk of course. They are now slowly going to pop out. They will be doing their damage. They can focus down the Bailings quite fast. One Bailing Detonation not going to get enough damage done. We need two Bailing Detonations. And now Revolver has to return back home. He is still producing Zerglings. No other attack whatsoever. And if Bly goes for the attack immediately, he's going to be in great shape. But he's going to go for the Overlords first. He's expecting that there are, of course, already Spore Cross. But there are not. And he still needs to defend against the Zerglings that Revolver is sending across the map. Still no Spore Cross on the production tab. This base is completely open if he takes out the Queens. But he still wants to be safe at home. And slowly but surely, Bly is taking an advantage anyway. Because the Zerglings, of course, cannot jump. And they will get taken out one by one. Finally, two Spore Crawlers on the production tab. Bly already pretty far forward right now. Going for Overlord after Overlord. The Zerglings might even want to focus on those Spore Crawlers. And Bly is going to be very happy that it's not done just yet. He's just going to focus it down. The Mulas will fly in. And it looks like Bly is going to close it out right now. With no answer against these Mutalists. There is the GG. And Bly is going to be our victor of today. In the Gover Starcraft 2 Cup Premium number 3. And he will qualify for the monthly finals. And win the 50 Euro.